Okay, strangest places I've covered an event. We'll start with college hoops. I covered college hoops for NBC on an aircraft carrier in Jacksonville. Uh, it didn't go that well because Jacksonville, kind of a humid place. We're on the water. The court, wet, couldn't really play, and it turned into myself, Stacey King, and Stan Van Gundy, who had never worked together before that and never worked together after that, basically just talking for two and a half hours while they tried to mop up the court. Uh, I covered hockey in Yankee Stadium. We do the Stadium Series games. We do the Winter Classic. Uh, and something special, obviously, about going to Yankee Stadium, seeing the Rangers play the Islanders at night, freezing cold weather. Uh, strange, but uh, one of those moments that uh, as someone who grew up in New York is a pinch me moment uh, to be able to bring all of those elements together. Uh, Tour de France, which is one of the strangest uh, events I've ever covered just from start to finish because it's a traveling circus and it's exhausting and you feel like you've really accomplished something at the very end of it. Uh, I was at the top, at the peak of these mountains uh, in the Pyrenees and in the Alps, these iconic settings where, uh, you know, before you climbed up this mountain, it was 85, 90 degrees. Then you get to the top and there's snow up on top in the summer. Uh, so it was beautiful, breathtaking, and a place I definitely never expected to be covering anything. High school hoops. Uh, my first TV job was in Indiana. Uh, Friday night lights did not mean football. Friday night lights meant high school hoops on Friday nights. And I would cover it in these small towns across Indiana. And some of them were Amish communities. Uh, some of them were farm communities. And you'd go and the gyms were incredible and they were packed. And the old joke used to be, you could rob anyone in town right now because there isn't a single person home. They're all at this game. And that was, went the same for the visitors too. The, the idea was they turned the lights off in the town, left, locked the door to the town, and then they all traveled over and watched that game. Uh, and speaking of local high school sports, my very, very first job right out of Buffalo, before I got into broadcasting, I worked for New York Newsday on Long Island. Somehow, some way, uh, they made a huge mistake and let me cover sports for them. I covered high school sports, and I got to cover an event that I never anticipated covering, which was girls high school badminton from an auxiliary gym. Uh, you know, I covered a lot of events that maybe were a little bit more glamorous, but I don't remember them as vividly as I remember that event. I had no idea what was going on. I didn't really know where I was, what I was doing. Uh, I was treading water, but I remember, uh, I, I remember vividly as a 21-year-old being out there on Long Island covering girls' high school bed. 